Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Poppy KJ. And this is Elizabeth and I'm Ellen. And together we're the Pea Podcast. Hello everybody, this is Poppy KJ. Welcome back to another episode of FTB University 1.16. And I'm not sure what episode this is, but we are playing with Ars Nouveau, which has the potential to be really cool. Uh, and what we're trying to do is get more source. So I've actually made a volcanic source link. Uh, if I run over here, I've got my aggro source link cranking away. I've got a jar here that's almost full. When it gets full, this one will start filling. Uh, and then I also built a crystallizer that can use that source to make these gems that we need for a bunch of stuff. And I'm leaving that gem in because if I pull it out, it's going to pull like 20 source from this guy um, to make another one. And we actually have plenty of gems right now. Uh, it actually makes them pretty quickly. I thought it was going to be a slow process. But at some point, we might automate this. The other cool Ars Nouveau thing is it has these little cute little mobs that uh, you can turn into your worker, your, your worker bees. Um, so we'll see how that goes. What I want to do right now, though, is try to get this volcanic one going as a reward for getting some of the other stuff for making this volcanic source link. I got a blazing archwood sapling. So I just planted that. And of course, it's going to turn into night here. Um, I just planted that here. I think maybe I'll let it grow and get a couple of them going uh, before I try to melt them down or something with whatever, however this thing works. It's a little bit confusing to me. Uh, so I'm going to try some stuff out here and see if we can't get it to work. But we'll go ahead and do this in the daytime. Okay. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is put down a block of, I guess probably dig it out, um, three by three block of stone. And I'm just going to put it, I don't know, over here maybe. I kind of want, well, maybe I'll put it right over here. We'll see how this goes. I think it's going to turn into lava, so I don't really want it to burn anything down but and I don't know how deep it goes it might even go three deep we'll go three deep whoa what the heck is that we'll go three deep anyway just to see what happens maybe we'll dig down and check it out later and I'm just gonna put this stone down whoa wait maybe I should get the ore out all right, where's some of the junk stuff I just pulled out? Whatever. All right, <clears throat> I guess it was all dirt. Okay. One, two, three, good. So I'm hoping that that is the extent that this thing goes. And as it goes, oh, I want to put down a jar nearby. I want to put it right over here. And this guy has zero in it now. We'll see if it it can burn uh, this archwood stuff. Should I chop down some arch other archwood just to see? Let me see so uh, I guess I have all these guys lit up oh well okay if I put some archwood logs around it what's gonna happen I'm not sure. Supposed to burn the stuff around it. Let's 
Let's see if it does anything with that. This is still at zero, so it's actually not doing anything yet. Uh, let's take a look at this book again. Where's the this book? While we wait. So the volcanic source link create source by consuming burnable items. Archwood logs will generate bonus mana. As it produces source, it also produces heat, used for spawning lava lilies and converting stone into lava. It automatically outputs to nearby jars. Nearby blazing archwood items will be burned up in exchange for a chunk of mana and a moderate amount of heat. Nearby, so around it should work. It will con occasionally convert stone into magma and magma into lava if they exist beneath it in its 3x3 three three area. This conversion to an amount of heat it has produced over time. Volcanic source link will also spawn a lava lily adjacent. Okay, so it sounds like those logs should burn, right? We're still at zero. I don't know. Sneak to view. Entry. Oh, it's already there. Does that actually? Oh, it does. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, but however, it doesn't tell us why this isn't burning in. This is archwood. It burns archwood, right? Do I need the archwood down on the first? I don't know. So I will have to figure out what to do. I'm gonna do that for now. I wonder if it has to be on the arch. Let's try really quick. Because it doesn't look like it's doing anything, right? This guy's still. Oh, wait, this guy's 1% full. Something's working. Alright. Let's put those back. Where they go? Here, I guess. Let's leave those there then. It's doing a tiny bit. There is a little bit of liquid in the bottom. I can see that. Okay. Ah, I guess we just gotta be more patient. And hopefully, this guy will grow. And That'll speed that process up if we put his the wood from that tree around it. Okay, uh, do I want to put uh, all these saplings back over here? Uh, looks like we need to fill in a hole here. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that big, beautiful red tree. Now we got three colors. There's a fourth color that we haven't found yet, but still at one percent. Um, let's see if we can get some more saplings of this guy. There we go. Nice. We'll go ahead and take him down. And put some red. Blazing arch within here. <coughs> hey, he's at 3% now. Alright. And then 
we're just gonna plant some of these all around this guy. Don't know if it matters at all, but hey, why not? <clears throat> okay. It's probably at least as fast as the other one. Maybe a little bit slower. Pretty close. Of course, I have a whole thing of crops around that one. I don't know what I have around that thing. But. Hey, let's make another spell. Um, so I've made... What do I have so far? Light. I've got three spell. Oh, color picker. Is that just for the... Wait. Oops. Um. Oh my gosh. Familiars. So if I go... Wait, is this my light spell? Projectile light. I go here and go color picker um, and go much bluer. Doesn't even really show you what you have, huh? Ooh, look at that. So you can, all right, so that's how you pick the light color or the special effects of it at all. The pink, I suppose, is a little bit brighter, but it might be fun to have different colors, right? Have some blue coming off the blue trees. And then maybe some green off some of the green trees. Let's see if we can... What's that look like? That looks an awful lot like I forgot to save or something, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Okay, nice. Anyway, I probably want to pick a fairly yellowish. I'm just going to pick yellow. There we go. Uh, for my general thing going forward, let's put one of these. What do we want? I don't know. Should we replace our torches? There we go. Alright, I don't want to do all the torches right now. Oh, let's check the source thing out. So this guy is now 5% full. This guy's all the way full. I'm going to go ahead and take him out. And we're going to go do a new spell. So if I look at this book and go to... Back, 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 back. Uh... Oh, wait, what about tier one spells? Projectile. I already have it, but yeah, so all right, that takes a bow. Uh, self, we already have, and that took a, apparently a glass bottle. We need to replace it. Underfoot. What about like jump underfoot? Oh, look, freeze. Aquatic. Can you like breathe underwater? Applies the water breathing buff. Oh my gosh. You need a cod for that. I guess I'm going to have to do some fishing. Um, bounce. Is that going to be like? Jump? A slime ball. Oh my gosh, I need to uh, hit that slime island. Okay, so a slime ball will give you a bounce effect. That's pretty cool. Great craft. Spell it, crafts. Cut. Shears, entities, and blocks or damages non shearable entities for a small amount. 
here. I wonder if it would. Oh, what I need is like a silk touch thing, huh? But, huh. That might be kind of cool to shear sheep with just a spell. Um, dispel, freeze, harm, harvest, ignite. So those are our possibilities at tier one. Wait, I wonder if there's another. If there's more. Are these all tier one? Interact, item, pick up, launch. Launch looks like a jump. Tier one. Boost the target into the air. Can be used for large jumps or for scaling mounts. I need a rabbit hide. I haven't seen any rabbits around. I think we're in the wrong biomes for them. And this world building thing isn't going to likely give us a desert nearby. But we'll have to watch for that. Cool. Um... What does Phantom do? Uh, oh, summon. Uh, let's do. Oh, summon wolves. Summon steed. All right, let's get the summon steed spell. All we need is a, a leather. And of course, we need the magic clay again. Let's see if we can't do that. Uh, leather, leather, leather. Probably a drop. Hmm. I did not kill. Anything that drops leather? What are the ways of making leather in this? Can we turn our zombie... Our rotting flesh into leather? Leather, leather. Oh, you can just turn a wilden wing into leather. That's good to know. We've got a couple of those. I wonder what else we need them for. Uh, three, two leathers. I don't even know what leather stripes are. A vial of tannin and two rotten flesh gives you two leather. A vial of tannin. Rabbit hide. Kangaroo hide, I haven't seen those either. Bonded leather. Um, tannin. So this is a mystical world thing. Oh yeah, I kind of looked at this. What you do is you infect oak trees with wasp attractant. Something that pulls the wasps in. They, then they grow gall apples. You pick those with... Alright, let's see if we can do this. Just as a little side project. We need to make some wasp attractors. Stuff. This stuff right here. Wasp attractant. We need uh, bone meal. Some kind of meat. And something sweet. I think you can use rotten flesh for this too, although there's no reason. Of course, we don't really have any animal pens going. That's what. The real thing I should probably do is get a cow farm going, right? Oh, look, we got two of those big fired up trees now. It, uh, it doesn't seem to be burning anything. I wonder if it's just heating the ground and we need to put those guys lower to get a faster thing. But anyway, still, I like the way this world is shaping up. Uh, wasp gall or cows? Cows. What do we have? Cows. Wheat. Make a little cow pen. We have space available. We just knock it out right here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the wasp gall thing really quick, just because I will build a cow pen offline. That's just a, a slow, boring thing. And then in the next episode, maybe we'll go grab some cows. Uh, but I'm kind of curious about this. And I know that I have somewhere some sugar.
Wow. Eat some sugar, some rotten flesh. What was the other thing in there? Some sugar, some rotten flesh. Oh, bone meal. Bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. Probably up to the drops, yeah. Oh, man. What do I want to... This is ridiculous. I've got too much stuff in my inventory all the time. Don't need those. Cascading arch with saplings. And this other stuff should be over on the. Alright, let's make. Just make one batch of these. I do need oak trees. I think I have some growing up here. We'll check on this guy's progress on our way by. It's still just 3% full, so I'm not sure what actually has happened with that thing. Alright, we take some wasp attractant. Put that there. Put that there. Um, is that the only two trees we have? Weird. All right, we're gonna put the one on this. Let's put this on the. All right, and then we leave these and they grow. Very slowly, apparently. Wheat seeds. What the heck? Can you put wheat seeds to make anything? All right, anyway. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, I'm going to put some of this. If I light it on fire, no, it's supposed to be providing the heat source, right? taken over this forest, which is a good thing. I also have a little uh, starter house thing. Wow. Can't tell if anything's happening around here or not. Doesn't seem to be consuming any of these. We'll just wait and see. It's four percent. It's going really slow, but and not generating a lot of heat. But we will let it sit. 
Uh, leather, leather, leather. Oh, All right, shoot. That's all this is about is leather. Oh, I'm just gonna go run and kill a cow. What the heck? Somewhere out here, there's a sheep. There's a skeleton. Sooner or later, I'm gonna hit a cow. Raccoons. Offline, I'm gonna bring back some sheep and cows and stuff too. Let's get that farm going. But for now, come on, where's a cow? There's a pig. How do I not have any animal farms yet? Huh? Gonna run around. Oof, oof, oof. I'm gonna circle here. Gonna go this way. What the heck is that? A bear? Yikes! Too slow, bear. Too slow. More sheep. More raccoons. Does this have cow bait? Can you just... Man, I'm cruising through the food at this sprinting speed. Uh, there's a frog or something. Chickens. Everything except a cow on this particular run. And the sun's going to go down. I think I've been carrying my bedroll, so that's a good thing. So I don't have to worry about that. And I carry plenty of eggplants. If we find some beet roots, I can make stuffed eggplant, which is a hearty meal. Uh... Alright, well, this is a glimpse into uh, what it's like when I'm running around trying to find the stuff in between episodes. Uh, probably enough of one that you don't really want to see the rest. So I will count to about a hundred here. And then bamboo forest. Should I bring back some bamboo? I don't really think I care enough about it right now. Cows, I see cows. Whoa, there's a lot of cows out there. What the? So, whoa, so we got this bamboo forest that's in the cow city. And now it's going to be impossible to move. Holy cow. Cow. I guess I'm bringing some bamboo back after all, just to get it out of my way. The heck, that's a cow with a hat, even. Oh my gosh, that guy's gotta go, gotta have that hat. And let oh my gosh, leather off the first guy. Okay, I probably should keep a few of these around to bring back to camp. What, uh, yeah, I don't care about those seeds. Oh, no. All right. How much leather did I get? Two. That's plenty. Right. What did I need? One leather for a spell. Yeah. Okay. The rest of these cows get a pass because I'm gonna come back with some wheat. I mean, wheat on me, do I? Um, and grab them. So I guess we made it just in time. So I'm going to fast forward some of this and get back to.
Okay, so what was I doing? Oh yeah. Oh no, a magic thing, right? I'm a summon wolf spell. Keep going. We're not there yet. Okay. So, oh, I need the clay. Stinking magic clay. Magic clay. You know what? I easily get rid of this thing. Um, put this guy down here. Magic clay. I need two redstone and a source gem. None of that is in there. I have redstone on me. I have a. I don't have a source gem. Where did I put the source gems? Okay, magic clay, boom, boom. For some reason, I didn't get credit for that before. Let's put source gems over here. Let's put a mana bucket over here. Let's put a leather down here. Um, all right, good enough. So we put the clay in here. We take a leather, flop it down, we get the magic bits going. Uh, do we need a... What do we want, like a touch with this or what? Alright, we put this down. We have unlocked this, which should give us more mana too, right? You can't tell how much you have. but uh, Then we're going to go here, and our fourth spell is gonna be uh, what do you call it when you summon your horse I don't know I'm just gonna call it steed uh, touch projectile self what does it turn you into a horse um, I guess it's a touch spell summon steed and then light it on fire no just kidding uh, I guess that's it, right? Summon Steed. Create that baby. Alright. Let's see how... How this works. Boom. There it is. With the saddle. Yeehaw! Okay, I definitely got to make some roads. Oh, this might come in handy if I make a lead or something to go get cows. Drag them back quickly, huh? Can't jump over that tree, apparently. How about this one? That's better. Can I jump over my fence? Oh, no. Come on. All right, how about if we come from this direction? Uh, oh, there we go. There we go, over the fence. Oh yeah. Alright, well look at the life this guy has. <clears throat> Holy moly. Well, I wonder how long he lasts for. Kind of funny. I guess the nice thing about having the fence here is he's stuck here. Although again, he's not a real horse; he's a summer horse, and I'm pretty sure he's temporary. All right, we're 11% full there. Check the other one really quick. Got to be at least five. 
4% full. All right, so I have no idea how this works. I'll see if I can figure out if there's something else to get that thing working better. But for now, we've got plenty of source. Um, we'll look at upgrading to tier two later. So I think next episode is going to have to be uh, building the smeltery. And I will put some animal pens out this way. And I'll put the smeltery out this way, and then we'll build it in the next episode. All right. Well, for this episode, this is Pup KJ. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Be sure to subscribe to see all our videos. And like this video to see more like this. Bye. Bye-bye.